Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Advent and Lent are penitential seasons for Christians. Traditionally, these times have been marked by fasting and no feasting. Now, all this emphasis on fasting and repentance can appear rather grim, gloomy, and uh, sad. And so in the middle of Advent, on the third Sunday, the Church reminds us that Christian life should be a life filled with joy. This Sunday is called Gaudete Sunday, because the Mass begins with the word rejoice, Gaudete in Latin. Jesus promised his disciples, you will rejoice, but, and your joy no one will take away from you. The joy which Jesus speaks of is not the same as what we commonly call happiness. Happiness is often a private commodity which we run after. So society today seems structured around preservation of private happiness. Happiness is dependent on external conditions, on things we can get, such as a beautiful wife, economic stability, job promotions, a career, rich living. But when we get these, we know we can as easily lose them. The joy which Jesus and the Bible proclaims is not dependent on external conditions. It is something that bubbles from within us, from the realization that God lives in us and always loves us, each one of us, not just individually and separately, but in our common human togetherness. The coming of Jesus the Christ was God's definitive sign that He Himself shares our life in all its moments, in happiness and in suffering, in failure and in success. And He will finally bring our lives to their godly fulfillment. We would all like we will all admit that the world stands in need of salvation, even today. Look at the widespread inhuman poverty around us, the corruption in government, the exploitation of weaker people by powerful, the cutthroat competition that we see in all spheres of life. We would not all like our society to be rid of these evils, evils which humans cause to other humans. But we do not realize how often we ourselves are entangled in these evils. The Christ came to bring us salvation, to get us out of this mess. Not by some human, sorry, not by some divine magic, but in a very down-to-earth way. He took on human flesh, entered into our human society, interacted with all kinds of people, and he showed us how to live, not in the common worldly way, but in a truly godly way. He had a share of sufferings and opposition, but he gained the final victory. Our joy comes from being partners in this saving action because we know that his victory will also be ours. And this is where John the Baptist in the Sunday Gospel from Luke 3 lays some groundwork for reclaiming joy. He 
stirred up the hearts of people, of some ordinary people, of the police and soldiers, of government officials, he stirred up their hearts to realize how they were entangled in the mess of the world. And so they asked him, what shall we do? According to John, the state of our world is directly connected to how we together use power, position and wealth. The climate crisis and the COVID pandemic have made this amply evident. If we don't take a hard look at our own responsibility as individuals and as a society for why this world is as broken as it is, then we will keep on hearing more and more bad news. But if we ask ourselves, what shall we do? If we respond to John's call and follow Christ's path, we shall create some good news around us. And that, that my dear people, is the joy of salvation. 